When it comes to palliative care, sometimes assumptions are made about specific patient groups due to a lack of awareness or cultural understanding. This can create stigma. Prisoners, BME communities, LGBTQ plus communities, people with non-cancer conditions, mental health conditions, older people, traveling communities, and people living with dementia, plus many others, are at risk of receiving a different level of palliative care than others. For example, as a homeless person, priorities may be different to those of someone with a roof over their head. A priority may be having somewhere to sleep at night, or if they have an addiction, needing to access that drug. Dying may not be their biggest priority, making conversations about death challenging. Sometimes the prospect of death isn't taken seriously. If someone with learning disabilities was diagnosed many years ago, they and their relatives may have been told they weren't going to live as long as medical advancements have now allowed them to. A conversation around death a second time might not feel all that urgent and the necessary considerations may not be made. The result? Despite medical advancements, people from these communities are dying at a younger age. There are barriers in place, such as logistical problems with medication at end of life and gaps in services, particularly when symptoms are out of the ordinary or unexpected. Communication and coordination is not where it needs to be, often with palliative care teams being brought in too late in the day. What can we do? Listen. Listening to what people want is essential, regardless of how unwise their decision is perceived to be. This stretches beyond just the patient by listening to the views of friends and families too. Shared learning. Increased understanding across healthcare teams is needed. Palliative care staff need to better understand the specific needs of vulnerable groups and staff need to understand what palliative care provides. Encouraging shared learning and cross-communication will create a holistic approach to patient care. Planning. Palliative care conversations should be starting earlier. If someone has an underlying health condition and there is growing concern, both the patient and professionals need a plan. Palliative care conversations should run in parallel to treatment conversations in order to improve outcomes. Rights. Respecting people's human rights is a must. Regardless of background or lifestyle, everyone has the right to make their own choices and a right to independent support. Moving forward, there needs to be trust on both sides of the table. This becomes easier when healthcare staff better understand the barriers faced by vulnerable patients and when staff understand who patients really trust. Let's talk. Better communication about palliative care needs to be happening. Encourage conversations and raise awareness amongst professionals, carers and patients. Could you be a champion in this area? By encouraging these behaviour changes, we can ensure that palliative care supports all people to live well and die well. If you would like to learn more about what you can do to better support these patient groups, please go to www.sah.org.uk forward slash vulnerable populations.